everyone I'm Maggie Walden from Maggie's crochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them this is so beautiful I just love this I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also and most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this and um, i just think it's really beautiful look at this and so you could it's a great way to use up scraps and this one flower down at the bottom the let me see i gotta go this way the pink one here it, i made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle and you could use these like for to decorate scarves or hats or um just anything placements anything i just love these things so anyway well, I'm, we're going to take you to a close-up lesson, and Christina is going to show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, everybody. It's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this fun little carnation. As you can see, this is made with two colors of pink. I've used a worsted weight yarn and a size H hook today, but you can vary your yarn size, uh, just vary your hook size accordingly if you want a smaller or larger flower. It's a pretty simple project. Only a couple of rows. You'll use double, single crochet, uh, slip stitch, and chain stitch. I think that's about all you need to know. Let's get started. Begin with your darker color and chain 16 your foundation chain um, and then you'll single crochet in the second chain from the hook so skip this first one single crochet right into that one and then single crochet in all the rest of the chains across so you'll end up with 15 single crochet stitches so i'll do that and i'll come back and show you row two here's my carnation after row one 15 single crochet stitches for row two, I'm just going to chain one, and then in each single crochet across, I'm going to work three double crochets. So you'll yarn over, insert down into the stitch, pull a loop through. You've got three loops on your hook at this point. Pull a loop through two, and then pull a loop through the remaining two. So I'm going to do three of those in each single crochet across. So when I finish, I should end up with 45 double crochet stitches. Now at the end of this row, I'm going to change to my lighter color. So I'm going to work across and then I'll come back and show you how to do that color change. You'll notice as you're making row two that your uh, project is going to start kind of curling up on itself. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm almost done with the row. I need to make one more double crochet in this last stitch here. But like I said, this is where I'm going to change color. So I'll start as normal, yarn over, insert into the stitch and pull a loop through. Pull a loop through two, and then instead of pulling this color through those last two loops, this is where I'm going to pick up my slightly lighter color. It's just a little bit lighter. I'll get that on my hook with a slip stitch, slip knot. And that is what I will pull through the last two stitches and you can kind of adjust the tension there uh, trim this off and weave in the ends but with this lighter color you're going to work row three so we'll turn chain three and slip stitch in the top of the double crochet and we'll just repeat that across chain three slip stitch in the top of the next double crochet and that gives us this kind of little ruffledy effect. So uh, let me work that all the way across and then I'll come back and show you how to put your flower together. When you've finished row three, go ahead and finish off. Leave a nice long end for sewing. I went ahead and woven all my other ends. Um, so the way you take this spiral and turn it into a flower, you're just going to kind of roll it up on itself kind of in a circly shape. You might want to start probably at the center. I'm going to call this the center. 
and just kind of roll, 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 roll it up. Kind of like that. And you could glue this in place. I'm going to sew it. So I'm going to take my yarn, fold it in half and kind of pinch it in between my fingers. I like a nice big yarn needle. Look at that eye. That's a great big eye. And you'll just kind of shimmy the eye over the yarn pinch between your fingers. Just like that. Nine times out of ten, that gets it on the first try. It's the easiest way I've found to thread a yarn needle. So once you get your flower positioned kind of how you want it, just go ahead and take that needle. I'm just going to go straight down to start. Then I want to make sure my back end here is tucked in so I don't have that hanging loose. So I'll just attach that there. And then I'll just go up and down through the center a few more times. Make sure it's going to be nice and secure. And you can shape this as you go. If you want it kind of more ruffledy or this one's pretty kind of flat, whatever you prefer. And that is your carnation. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, and the pattern and materials, everything you'll need, you'll find listed down in the description. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.